If you have applied for the USA B1 visa and your visa has got rejected recently, then this video is for you. Because in this video, we are going to discuss what could be the probable reasons for the rejection and also what are the steps you need to take to increase your chance the next time you apply. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I am a travel and a visa coach. In this channel, you will find a lot of videos for the US visa process right from form filling to clearing the interview. Make sure that you check them out. I'm going to leave the link for that above as well as in the description box. So what is the B1 visa? B1 visa is basically a non-immigrant business visa which allows you to visit the US for any temporary or short term work. This could be to attend meetings, to attend conferences, uh, to give seminars, to attend trainings or even to take part in exhibitions and contests. So if your B1 visa has got rejected recently, uh, the top thing on your mind might be when can I apply again? And the answer to this question is you can actually reapply for the B1 visa as soon as three working days. So if you feel that you are confident about your application and you are sufficiently prepared, then go ahead and reapply immediately. There is no reason to wait for a long period of time. On the other hand, if you feel that your application was lacking somewhere and you need to prepare well and gain more confidence, it is also completely okay to wait for a couple of weeks, uh, notch up your preparation and then apply again. So now that we have the basics in place, let's start with what could be the probable reasons for rejection of the B1 visa and how to correct the same. So in my experience, I have seen that most of the times B1 visas get rejected because the purpose of travel is not communicated clearly. When you are applying for a business visa, it is very important that your business visit is essential, it is important and it is critical. If the visa officer is able to sense that this is a trip which can be avoided and this is a work which can be done over an email, over a call, uh, it can be substituted by somebody else or even postponed to some later date, he might reject your visa application. So let's understand this with an example. Let's say that the purpose of your trip is a business meeting and when you are asked this question in the interview, if you just say that it is to attend a business meeting, then this does not communicate anything important or critical. It is important to give a little more information and a little more backstory. You can probably talk about a project that you have been working on for very long or a deal which requires your expertise and hence your presence in the US office. So giving all this information when you talk about your purpose of visit will also help the visa officer to grasp the seriousness of the situation and the importance of your trip and increase your chance of getting the B1 visa. I have worked with a lot of professionals and I help them to frame and communicate the purpose of their trip which is oftentimes the first question to be asked. So if you are in a similar situation and you would like to work with me then do book a one to one consultation session with me. The link for that is in the description box below. The second area which might be the reason for rejection of your B1 visa is your invite letter. Now when you are going for a business trip, the invite letter becomes an extremely critical document and it should have some key features. The first one is that it should be on the letterhead of the US entity. So let's say that you are going for a client visit, then make sure that the invite letter is on the letterhead of the client. Or if you are going to the US office of your company, then make sure that the invite letter is on the letterhead of the US entity. The second thing that you need to pay attention for when it comes to the invite letter is the purpose of travel. Make sure that the purpose of travel which is mentioned in the invite letter is the same as what you are saying in the interview. So let's take an example. So if you say that the purpose of your travel to US is new process onboarding. So if you're going to use these words in the interview, make sure that the same is mentioned in the invite letter. Many times I see that the invite letter is a very standard uh, generic document where the purpose of travel is just mentioned as business meeting, training, conferences. But this does not help the cause. So pay a little more attention to what is written in the invite letter. Lastly, also take care to ensure that the invite letter clearly mentions the intended dates of your travel and also mentions who will be bearing the expenses of your trip and your accommodation. Coming to the third reason for rejection and this is not knowing the technical details related to your purpose of visit and related to your work. So when you apply for a B1 visa, 
all the details related to the purpose of visit and the work that you intend to do in the US become extremely important and can be asked by the visa officer. Let's say that during the interview, you say that the purpose of your uh, US trip is for a new process integration. Now, any technical question can be asked related to this and you should be prepared to answer and give all the details to the visa officer. Also, it is important to carry a work plan with you for the duration of your intended stay in the US. Let's say that you plan to stay there for two weeks. Then for those two weeks, make sure that you have a work plan ready. What all is the work plan? What are the meetings? What are the client visits and everything else? So prepare this document and carry this with you for the interview. Guys, these were the three main reasons for rejection of B1 visa and also how you can correct them. I hope this video has helped you. I have worked with a lot of professionals and I helped them prepare uh, for the visa interview and clear it. So if you're interested in working with me, you can book a one to one consultation session. The link for that is in the description box below. In this session, we will be looking at all the aspects of the interview and also talk about the essentials of DS-160 and the documents that you need to carry with you. In addition, if you have more questions, you can leave them in the comment section below or you can get in touch with me via Instagram DM. My Instagram handle is right below. It is at shachi.mal. So that's all for this video. Please do give it a thumbs up and do share it with your friends and family who are in a similar situation. On the screen now, you will see my other videos on the US visa process. Make sure that you check them out. They are going to be super helpful. Signing off for now. See you in the next one. Bye.